so when it comes to bipods, there's all sorts of different ones out there, right? Um, when I first got into shooting, people were saying get Harris, all that stuff. Um, and I never did just because of the price. I went and picked up just a Blackhawk one. It was like half the price at Walmart. And it had a lot of cool features and all that stuff. But there was a lot of limitations with it, which led me to get one of these. Uh, as you see, it's got a LaRue mount on it, quick detach mount. Um, but it is uh, an Atlas bipod. So, uh, let's see if we can read it. Yep, there you go. Atlas bipod. It is rock solid. Um, there is a lot of, uh, of adjustments that you can do with it. As you see here, it locks out 45 degrees forward. Uh, let's see if I get this one to go. Locks out 45 degrees forward, so you can rest forward. You can do 90 degrees. Um, it's hard to do one-handed. Apologize for that. Just push that button. It goes into place, locks in, now you're at 90, like typical bipods. And then you can do 45 degrees to the back and then 180 from forward or back mount. Um, you can do all that with them. They also have a lot of abilities to where you can adjust the length on them by pulling that collar, it locks in. You have several spots that you can uh, lock them in at or you can uh, adjust them partially depending if you're on an uneven surface or whatnot, where you can lock them out completely. Um, but rock solid. Um, they are a little bit pricey, but well worth the money, I believe. They, um, they give you a lot of capabilities. This one, obviously, it has the LaRue quick detach mount. Um, they're on a little rail section attached to your uh, front sling posts. It locks on and uh, you get it to lock in there and it's quick on and off so I can swap it between both my rifles just throw a rail section on both rifles and uh, we're all set let me uh, let me lock it in real quick and uh, we'll be back so there it is it's mounted on um, it it's in a 45 degree forward fully extended and it holds itself up quite well and then when it's in the 90 degree spot and you push forward as if you're loading the bipod it has a little bit of play, and as soon as it tips past that point, it locks in, and then you can sit there all day with it loaded into your shoulder. It's not going anywhere. Um, it doesn't try and scoot forward or anything like that, like I was experiencing with the Harris style bipods. Uh, further, uh, you can take this. It's like 4.75 inches to 9 inches, full extended 9 inches, 4.75 when it's closed down. But you can also get these, and they are add-ons. Basically, you pop a this pin here, that shoe comes off, this slides in, and um, you can put the rubber shoe back on down here, or these are my aggressive uh, ground spikes. They sell actual spikes, and then they have the like umbrella, um, kind of get into some dirt, ground, wood type stuff. Um, and they have a ball joint on them, so depending on what kind of terrain you're on, they lock in. Really high quality stuff here, um, super lightweight, and but it's all aluminum construction um, it's a very nice very nice setup so uh, we'll get some shooting vids see how it is uh, after doing some shooting and all that stuff um, it should be pretty fun uh, down here you loosen this um, and it gives you a pan you can pan the rifle side to side and then you can actually swivel um, in a path Think like 35 degrees in each direction left and right so it uh it allows for a lot of uh of uh, different shooting positions that you can get into so anyways thanks for watching hope you guys enjoy uh more videos to come